Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're going to be going over some of the uh, Oni basics. Today we're going to be going over stamina. And of course that means we're going to go over a couple of other things as well, such as the beds, rooms, how that affects stamina regen, how your stamina depletes. And of course, let's get it started. So we're going to start off by clicking on staff. Staff over here, as you could hover over the stamina bar, has a minus 70 percent per cycle right below the uh, total change that duplicate minus 70 percent that's how much stamina a duplicate loses over the course of the full 24 hours of a cycle that minus 70 percent modifier is always going to persist even while they're sleeping of course that means that when they're sleeping you have a net effect for that percentage so the sleeping modifier as you could see is a 900 percent per cycle and at the bare minimum, if your duplicate is sleeping and they have that minus 70%, that means their net gain while sleeping is going to be 870%. Now, that sleeping and the duplicate minus and that 830%, that's if your duplicate is sleeping on the floor, not in a cot, not in a comfy bed, and not in one of the rooms. As you can see, sleeping in a private bedroom, sleeping in a barracks also gives you a separate modifier, but we're not going to get into that yet. That 830% means that you generate about 34.7% of your stamina back each hour. And I'm assuming that each one of these is a one hour box and there's 24 of these in a cycle so because of that you only need to ever give your dupes two hours of bedtime even sleeping on the floor will give them 70 percent it's really around 69 percent stamina if they sleep on the floor and that's actually enough to combat the 70 percent they would reduce while sleeping of course that 69 percent is basically taking that 8 30 percent stamina regen and breaking that over the course of two hours now that being said always have your sleep schedule right here set to two hours for bedtime regardless of what your dupes do now you would never want to reduce that less than that you could if you want but i would recommend keeping it at two now that being said let's look at the other modifiers travado over here at the bottom since they're sleeping in a barracks and in a cot those are two separate 100 percent modifiers for stamina regen so they increase their stamina regen by 100 percent per cycle the math is is that each 100 percent addition is a 4.16 stamina over here out of 100 that you regenerate per hour. Meaning that if you're sleeping in a barracks and you're sleeping in a cot, you actually regenerate 8.3% more stamina each hour. So with the two hours, you're gonna be at 69 plus 16.6. That gives you around roughly 85.6. And that means you easily cover your duplicates stamina degen over the cycle. That means that the comfy bed and the private bedrooms are overkill. That additional 100% on each category just means an additional 8.3 per hour. So you're just going to double up even more. So that means that you over sleep the 100% stamina if you have a comfy bed in a private bedroom. That's how stamina regens and how your stamina depletes. When your duplicate's awake, all they have is the minus 70 and they'll slowly tick down from 100. Now, aside from that, there's something called exhaustion. I don't have an example of that, but exhaustion happens when your duplicates, you see them sleeping on the floor. And if you click on the dupe, they're going to have exhausted as one of their status debuffs. Exhaustion occurs typically when the duplicates don't have enough downtime. A lot of the times we run into the uh, curse of long commutes. That happens a lot of the times. And if you guys don't give your duplicates enough downtime to get back home, what happens is that they might not reach even the bathrooms or the mess halls in time. So they'll usually also be starving or maybe get close or have a full bladder. And what happens is that they don't get to sleep in time. So they don't get to the bedrooms. And by the time they get there, they are actually starting the next work day so they don't get time to sleep that means that they went through a full cycle and lost 70 percent of their stamina and they have 30 percent left and they did not get a chance to regenerate that through the night that's when exhaustion happens it could also happen too if your duplicate neglects to sleep because they had a full bladder and needs to use the bathroom instead same thing if they're starving if they were starving they will ignore the schedule 
eat. And then once their calories are up to par, they'll go back to the schedule. So if their dupes are exhausted, I would say extend their downtime to make sure that they have enough time to get back home because sometimes your duplicates will just end up right before the beds and the schedule says hey it's time to go back to work at that point they're gonna work for the 30 percent of the day fall asleep where they're standing and just rest until their stamina goes back to 100. that has been a quick overview of how exhaustion happens stamina regen for the duplicates and the things you need to look out for, how the beds come into play, and of course, the room overlays, the barracks, and the bedroom. If you guys have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.